my wife and partner Sono decided to create the Shambhala Gardens. So that's when we started looking for giant statues and bigger crystals to make the grounds here something extraordinary and unique in the world. And that took us to Java, to Muntalan. We were driving down a driveway and we saw the giant back of this huge Buddha. We said to them, is that for sale? They said, well, actually it is, because a Chinese temple in Madan had commissioned them to make a giant Buddha. And this Buddha, they found a little blemish, a little fault in the stone. They said, so this would not be acceptable to the temple means you can have it if you want it. So that's how the Buddha came to be available and we brought the Buddha out here. This area here was an old muddy dam that didn't hold water. So we spent a year creating the section, bringing excavation and drainage, creating the amphitheater so everyone could enjoy, along with other statues, Ganesha and Nandi the bull, Lakshmi the goddess of abundance, Garuda and Vishnu, the Avalokiteshvara, and the giant Buddha that's almost four meters high, weighs 13, thousand kilos. We had a huge slew crane set up in the middle of the amphitheater and he was lifted up in the air with ropes and straps and then placed gently on his spot, his magical spot inside the Buddha palm that had been created for him. And he's known as the Blessing Buddha because of this gesture where he blesses all who come.